Hello and welcome to the Beautiful Boycast, the most irregular, regular podcast on the web, syndicated at all zero stations across the nation. Today, we are going to be discussing the Switch, and I am your host today, Rick, and also we have with us... My name is Nathaniel. I am, I guess I'm the married one. That's what makes me special. I'm the pretty and smart one. Hi. My and name is Dakota. That's <laughs> Dakota. He, he's the rebel type. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. My name's Jamie and I own a Vita. <laughs> that's, 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 and that's a really good opening. Though. And he is, the, he, he is, the, <laughs> cause he's a joke. He is the, <laughs> he's the, he's the awkward, Dakota. awkward feminine trap type. All right. What's on today's docket, Rick? Well, first off, we're going to be starting out about the Switch's reveal versus the Wii U's reveal, and why the Switch's reveal is a much better success than the Wii U's reveal. And does anyone even remember the Wii U's E3 reveal? Mm-hmm. No, it was super forgettable. I sure do. I remember uh, E3 2011. They revealed the initial prototype. And I remember, I remember it because the gamepad at the time didn't have analog sticks. Oh, yeah, it, it had circle pads. It. Yeah, it had circle pads. It had circle pads. Oh yeah. Yeah, but the the Switch reveal 2011. No, Wii U no, reveal. The Wii U. I apologize. The Wii U reveal 2011. Um, I honestly don't even think they had any software shown at the time. It was just like it was all concept. Wasn't it just a video of yeah? Because I remember the shuriken, like the ninja demo. Yeah, yeah, that was it. part of it. And there is a huge problem with, I, I am your MLG pro gamer, and even when they were first revealed the Wii U, even I did not know that that was an actual console. I, I, I thought it was a controller that, for the Wii. I, I legit thought that. I figured out much Yeah, everyone much confused later, but, it with an accessory. But so, I, I mean, it's just a tablet, and you're like, well, it's Wii Point. Too. But but I, I have like a whole catalog of gaming news websites that I visit at least twice a day, and even I thought that was a controller at the first glance, and so I can't even imagine how Billy's mom checking out Walmart had no idea what the no, movie yeah. actually oh, most yeah. people didn't. You know a lot of people were confused too. Went to the store, yeah, wanting the Wii U, ended up taking home a Wii, not I realizing mean, their Yeah, that mistake. was from the outset it I mean, you got to remember, you're making the Wii U in 2008, 2009, probably whenever development started on the system. You've got to be thinking, this is, this Wii is absolutely amazing. It's our best-selling console ever. How do we capitalize on that four or five years from now? But the problem is, they, they botched it, in all honesty. They, Nintendo botched their entire well, marketing. Because the, the selling point of it was basically a tablet with two Wii Moats oh yeah, yeah that, well, was, that well, was the prototype. But, and then, but then they show it, and they're like, "Okay, it's the Wii U," and you're like, "Oh, the same naming can, you know, it's yeah. what is it? Is it just I, a the, new the, model?" The or name what? combined with the focus on the controller was a perfect story. Did we not see the system until launch year? Did I they wait until that say, E3 to show I the system? I want to say that that's what they did. They showed the and it doesn't even. First. It honestly really doesn't even look much different than a Wii. Maybe well, a little they, bit rounder. They re yeah, it a little bit rounder. They re revealed it technically. In 2012, really? that's basically what it was, because they came back out because they had they showed the official gamepad. Okay, mm. We heard about Project Cafe for a while before they actually showed it. Yeah, they mm. showed the real gamepad. They showed the system. They kind of re-revealed it at E3 2012, which, if you don't know or don't remember, that was the last time Nintendo ever did a press conference. At E3. Oh yeah, because they started doing their. Own. They started it was doing really the direct. Bad. They started doing the directs after that, and then a couple of like. Last year, I think in 2016, they didn't do anything because um, they do them. They do them all the time, you know, like monthly, yeah. whenever. And I think that's probably a better way to go about it too. Yeah, but it's just like because instead of putting everything on one you know, day, you spread it out spread throughout it out. the year. <laughs> and they they did too. that re reveal, but in all honesty, I don't think this would have <laughs> made a huge difference in the long scheme. But at least at the beginning, they should have just called it the Wii too. They should have called it something entirely different. Yeah, I dropped because adding that, the entire Wii name to it was a mistake. Because they were riding off of that. They were riding off the fact that the Wii was really selling well. Okay, if I remember correctly, when they first officially unveiled the Wii U, they didn't even show the actual console until like the very end of like the little spotlight, like the little trailer thing for it. No, that's what we were saying. They didn't reveal the actual system until the following year. Yeah, when I, they fully showed it, they're like, "Here it is, guys." It's obvious that the system was not the focal point. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was more a, about the novelty than the system. It was always about the controller. It was always about the controller, and the controller well wasn't okay. even that great. Okay, to be fair though, that was what kind of pushed people on the Wii. 
because they were like, oh, it's cool, it, it's it, unique. It, it was it was the motion controls, and it was hot, and it was new, and they tried to catch lightning in a bottle twice. Yeah, and it just doesn't work out too well. But they captured lightning in a bottle again, this time with the Switch. It's an evolution of a concept that they've been working on since the GameCube. Yeah. And, and it was an evolution of it even from directly straight from its reveal, which was instantly better than the Wii U's reveal. Like, yes. from, from that little... Uh, direct they did for it. You instantly knew what the switch did. Well, that was oh a, yeah, because because the, the the noise they they kept yeah, yeah, the, the noise. Yeah, there, well, that was a year ago. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was one year ago from roughly now. When yeah, we're recording. Yeah, because they they it was they October. dropped that and they were like, hey, it's coming out in a couple months. Yeah, yeah. there was all the audio sounds that like the, all the clicks and stuff. It, it made you know exactly what it did. You saw the guy set it down, pick it back up. You and, you knew exactly what this thing was. Yeah, you, and you didn't have to say anything really. Yeah, because you were like, it's did, portable. If I remember, you there was TV. If the I, video was no. Yeah, if, if talking I remember, at all. there was no dialogue whatsoever, and I don't think there was any text in mm-hmm. that. Uh, tr- no, it was just whatsoever. people playing it, taking it, and doing and, things. Yeah, that's all it was. That, and and you were able to figure out everything that it can do just from watching it. Yeah. And, th- and that's... And in my that, opinion, that was revealed. perfect for what they needed well, to show and if, for the Switch. And, you know, sort of go back to the original Wii U launch, you know, the Wii U, the initial reveal, we didn't see any software, any new software, I should say. We saw concepts. Kind of the same thing here. We saw Mario for the first time. We saw Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey. We saw what would become Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We saw what would become Splatoon 2. And we already knew about Zelda. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a lot of it was just... It wasn't anything new. It wasn't anything crazy. But it we was, saw ARMS. It's new and crazy. Did we? I don't think yeah, we, we saw, saw ARMS. ARMS. Did we? That reveal, yeah. I don't, I don't think, think we did. I don't did think we ARMS not? was at the reveal. I, 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 I think ARMS was at E3. We'll, we'll, put, a, we'll put a disclaimer. Maybe. It wasn't... It was, they didn't show it at E3. They showed it, I think, at the full Switch launch in January of 2017. I think that's when they revealed it, but we'll make a note. But that was one thing. It's like we're not seeing any crazy new game concepts that we've never seen before this very singular moment. But this hardware looks cool. It runs smooth. It runs Mm -hmm. smooth. It's basically what Nintendo's been trying to do since the Super Game Boy. Yeah, it's completely foolproof. You just set it down and pick it back up. That, that's it. And that, yeah, and they're, the, they're, the time frame is just like yeah. almost not even there. there there's no menu or anything that you swap over. You just literally just go oh, yeah. pick it up. I mean, that was really cool. I guess that'll take us right into our impressions of the Switch itself and in its features and all that, which we kind of already started to touch on. I got a whole two games. I have uh, six now. I've played four of them. And I have a digital game, but it's not exclusive to the Switch. So. My, my impressions of the Switch is that I, I fell in love with it as soon as I used it. Like uh, all the, uh, I love the system sounds, all the beeps and boops mm-hmm. and the the little maraca sound when you go to yeah. like, the settings and stuff. The, all, all the UI sounds are great. Oh, it's a very clean UI. It's super. Oh, it's super clean. I mean, that's super that's clean. not new for but, Nintendo standards. But it is nice. Uh, it, it, even the UI has that Nintendo polish with all it, the little yeah. boops and boops for all like every, well, everything. Everything's fun to click on. So like so like with the Wii, um, you get this kind of like childish, cartoony, television ish. It was UI. it was channel based. Yeah, it was channel based. Then you yeah. get to the Wii U and you're like, ah, oh, it's Mies. <laughs> well, Meverse was the <laughs> you, yeah. you get the point. It was the first and thing, then, and then they're like, if it even is there anymore. I don't no, know. No, me versus but, dead. Me versus dead. So dead. They, I haven't even turned it on since they shut it down. Okay, no one, no one needs to touch yeah, it. Like for the Wii U UI, it it could kind of if you took off the Nintendo one, you couldn't necessarily tell that it was made by Nintendo. But, but it was the, it was thematically. But there. Yeah, but for the Switch's UI, you, you can tell that it's Nintendo. Just like you don't even have to know. Like oh, that, that's Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got you got simple, easy to understand icons yeah. at the bottom. You can almost, scroll through your games just very and, cleanly. Almost like Apple. In, in, the in same, a sense, the I same. mean that's kind of how I mean I've always seen Nintendo as the Apple of gaming. I, that's what you get. The sounds, the sounds just make me so happy. And the sounds, that's one of my yeah. favorite parts of the, of a UI. But there's still, as of this recording, still no uh, music in the eShop. Oh yeah, that's sad. It, have they still not added? There's, music? I I checked it the other day. There's still no music. Oh my god, that, that's a shame. I mean. We oh, shop. Dun, dun, we dun, shop dun, channel dun, dun, is still dun, dun, yeah dun, one of the, <laughs> we shop channel still one of the best pieces of video game music ever, and the uh, eShop on the Wii U would change constantly. And, and another kind of con about the Switch is that it's still using friend codes even if they said they would. not Yeah, I feel like from a hardware standpoint, it's a step in the right direction, but from online, uh, on- online's totally busted. Right online still busted, and there's still some things that are very 2005 ish. About the system that feel like, you know, this voice chat. That's, that's still that a mess. Just unnecessary. 
But what about any other impressions outside of software? I played Actually. Zelda for an hour and it was fine. Outside of software. <laughs> Jamie can well, not listen. Whatever. No. I, okay. I really like the controllers. The pro, They're small, the, the pro but the, I, I like them. The I like pro, the idea of them too. The pro controller is really nice. Yeah, the pro, pro controller, controller is, nice. is one of my favorite controllers. I love okay. like, I, I love how big the face buttons are. They're amazing. I love everything about the pro controller. It's one yeah, of my favorite one. ones. We got one in front of us here. And USB-C. Oh, yeah. USB-C is nice. And it's the same cord that you use on the system, too, so I think that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'm I'm not a huge fan of the Joy-Cons, but I think it's because they're so small. Yeah, you I, get used to a Wii U I really or a Wii want controller. The, I really want them to make a left Joy-Con with a real D-pad. That would be nice. And I, and I want them to make a right Joy-Con that has the right stick in the Wii U placement. Because I think it's too... Well, for how small the Joy-Con is, I think it's too low and it's uncomfortable to use the right stick for me sometimes. For, I can for see that. Hands. Yeah. I can. I mean, that's the nice thing is eventually they could. Yeah, and see, that, that's the great 2. thing about 0. the Joy-Cons. They can just make a new controller and you can just slap it, it on there. That, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Hori and it will, charges while you're putting it there and just... Yeah, I'd say Hori will probably eventually come out with something. Hmm. Um, something that allows you to do that. And it has been used a lot so far, because, well, there's not a lot of games yet so far, but the HD Rumble's really nice. The HD I, Rumble I like is it. nice. I feel like we, we're going to get, like, the equivalency of a Star Fox 64 that uses the HD Rumble, like that original Now, uh, Indie Game just came out, uses it really, really well, uh, Dig 2, SteamWorld Dig 2. Uh, Apparently the it. HD Rumble on that is just I fantastic. It. It, it's really nice. I, I think I'm the only one that's played any significant amount of it, but uh, I really like the HD Rumble in One Two Switch. Like for the like tell you know we, yeah you know that one was because we played it at uh, a little played, bit yeah. yeah it was I thought it was okay. Yeah. So anyone have any else, anything else to say about the Switch? So I was I was going to say like when I bought the Switch, I was really surprised at how much stuff they gave me. Right, they gave me the whole dock. I, you have so many pieces of plastic yeah, to open up. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But the cool thing of it, you're like, you're like three hundred bucks for a system, and then you're like, but I get everything. Yeah, you get all sorts of stuff. You're seeing the box. price of the accessories. Yeah, you're grateful. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, the box is so skinny too. Yeah, it's box a tiny box. Everything's there. Like, and, and it's com- and it's compact. Yeah. I packed mine up, and I. I mean, it's nothing. You put, we, yeah, you we have a switch right here on the table. There's a switch on the table. There's a switch over on the counter. It's you throw it in a small baggie, and you pack up your extras. Yeah. So I mean, the controllers literally fit in the system. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah you just they you are just the attach system. your controller controllers to the system. So, but I like that. I like the, uh, you know, they knew people would want to put the controllers together a little bit closer and play it on the TV. So they give you that little, yeah, that little weird not charging. It's a cradle thing. Yeah, that, it's a cradle. I don't know if you call it a cradle. It's a controller dock. Another one. Yeah, it's basically a controller. Dock. Reminds I mean, me of the thing that came with Kid Icarus on 3ds. Sort of. Oh yeah, the little thing where you set the. I know. Yeah, that no one used. I know a lot of people complained that the one that came with the system was it didn't charge your controllers, but the I mean I've never had an issue. I think because the batteries are so good. I mean the batteries on at least on the Joy Cons I think are pretty solid. I, I think the Joy Con battery life is about twenty hours. Yeah. So like you're not going to be playing twenty hours. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're you gonna just be put like, it back on. The yeah, switch. you're literally just going to put it back in its stand. Yeah. Because it's a stand. Okay, maybe kids. Maybe yeah, where they wouldn't bring it up. Yeah. You know, but like. Well, I mean, and that also sort of brings up. The well, question. I mean, if you're taking it with travel, you're not going to worry about it. Maybe. Like maybe you wouldn't just take the dock. You'll just take still. The little, the, the I bet. It, but it, the, the controllers charge on the switch too. So if you ever, that's the thing. Like if you're traveling, they're going to be on the switch. Yeah. So and, and the pro controller as well. Uh, before I say that, another thing nice about the Joy Cons is that they don't start charging from the system's battery until the Joy Cons themselves are dead. So it doesn't drain your switch. battery constantly. Yeah, yeah. it is oh. a lot less a lot less continual that's, usage. That's smart. Yeah, it's it, actually pretty wonderful. Yeah, it, it actually won't start pulling from the switch until the Joy Cons themselves die. Uh, but I guess speaking of batteries, the Switch's battery itself, it's kind of poopy, but it's I mean, it's good for what it is. It's kind of trash. It feels it. That, I think that's probably the number one improvement that I think anybody wants to see in a version two point a Switch XL, if you will. One thing that does have a good battery that I was about to touch on, though, is the Pro Controller. It has, like, a 40-hour battery life. Not as 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 good as the Wii U Pro Controller. The Wii U Pro Controller is ridiculous. That's dumb. No one should ever try to reach that again. That's too hard. (laughs) I feel like... But I do feel like that's probably the one area that 
when they're thinking about because they're going to make a version 2.0. I think that's like a two guarantee. years probably. Well, because yeah. they made they made the Wii the Wii like revision two or whatever. They made a handful. They yeah. never made any that substantially changed the hardware. Maybe I mean, we, the, they, they only did one. They made they, they, they did made the Wii Mini. Well, they made yeah. they made like a version 2.0 with no GameCube support. That that was the Wii Mini. No, yeah, they but, made another one. Without GameCube. Yeah, that's right, they did. They there did are the, some that do not have the GameCube Wii, port, controller port. Then they ports. did one that was just the Wii, but no GameCube, and then the Mini. Uh, I thought Which it was only the Wii Mini that didn't do GameCube. Well, it's because they well, kind of snuck both. it out. <laughs> but but you've got to think, it's not just a con- home console, it's also a handheld. And every Nintendo handheld gets four or five revisions. Uh, just uh, look at the 3DS. There's definitely going to be a Switch Lite with a better battery life. Or Switch uh, Switch Pocket. Going way back, or Switch yeah. Micro? Yeah, no. Switch Micro. A Switch, Switch Micro. Mi- it can fit in your hand. It's the size of a phone. It's a three. We're in the screen. mobile market, guys. It's a three inch screen. You can play With all of your favorite. GBA. It's, it's just, you can play <laughs> all of your favorite it, GBA games. It, on introducing it. the the Zony Xperia Play. <laughs> oh yeah, but battery. I think that's going to be the number one thing. Um, and I I wanted a dedicated handheld version for a while. One that doesn't necessarily need a dock or anything. It's just. A handheld switch. I think they'll end up selling a, a SKU without a dock, but I don't think they'll make a handheld like you. You do not have the option of playing it docked. I don't think they'll make a one where you can't play I, dock. I would agree with you, but I feel like the switch is a little too flimsy for that, and they definitely want to get into that 2DS market, that that kid centric cheap market. Well, the well, 3D, they, they the 3DS just, is never going to die, well, so it's going to die. No, but it's they, not. We've they, killed it. But, but they could just—I they, they, mean—they could make a like more rugged switch and just make a new dock for it. I, I just mean that there, there's not going to be a switch that you can't play dock. Oh but, yeah, no, there will never be a because that's the point. I mean, be yeah, like, no, there will never like be one handheld can't like because the switch is the oh, point that you can switch between. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they'll probably make one where you need a new dock, but there won't be a only handheld version. Yeah. I, I mean, we need a new dock. I think we need a new dock. We will eventually. I think. I mean, I don't know. We could the, get a slim dock. I don't know what all specifically we could goes into the dock, but the dock will. is not a lot. No, I mean it's a piece I mean, of the plastic. Mechanics is not a lot for ninety bucks. It's a lot. Uh, Nintendo's going to charge you a lot of money for that, though. <laughs> a <little more. laughs> uh, the introducing the Switch Dock Pro, four K X, four K Pro Dock. <laughs> but again, downloads more RAM to your Switch. I, I think stop. what we can all agree on is. We like the Switch. We like what it offers. Uh, there's always room for improvement. I, I love mm-hmm. basically everything about the hardware side of the Switch besides a few weird features like friend code still being a thing and the voice chat being stuck to your phone. But otherwise, I pretty much love everything about yeah, it. Yeah, but those, you know, that's the things you love Nintendo for. Because <laughs> their, fuck the up, that, that, their that, fuck-ups, they're like, ah, you try. That's not the things I love Nintendo <laughs> for. That's the things I, that I'm oh Nintendo for. Oh, yeah. I tolerate it. <laughs> we just tolerate it because we love everything else they do. Yes. Well, because they do everything else really well, I think. Yeah, so now we're going to move on to software, because everyone's getting a little bit lit, and now we're getting hard. But, so Breath of the Wild, how much do you like it, and how much do you also love it? I played like 90 hours, and I only did like two of the beasts. So I, 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 Really? Yeah. Oh, Because I, I, I just go over it. No, I've never beaten it. I, I, thought, I thought Dakota had finished it. Well, but, but we have I'm fine with it. Me and Nathaniel have finished it. I da- finished the game. Dakota has played enough to where he might as well have finished it. Jamie, I played like an hour. I mean, I could, I could go in if I remember the controls. I could go in and get the two last bosses and do the final so, boss. Or I can it, and Jamie played for like an hour for the very first time. Like right before, before this, I played for an hour. And, and I think you, I think you, you grew to like it, even if you didn't love it. I no, I mean it was fine. It was fine. I was having fun with it. I was just messing with you guys for the most part. It's cool. It's it's intuitive. It is you can, I, you can do things and they just happen. It's great. See, I'm not a big, huge, big, huge Zelda fanboy. I'm never, I like, am. I'm never like, oh I'm my not. god, Zelda and everything. I'm but, not, says the guy. That yeah, you're not a Zelda fan. No, I'm not a Zelda fanboy. Because I remember you didn't like Skyward Sword at all. You played like 30 I minutes. Skyward Sword. Yeah, I, play, I played it a little bit. Um, And then just, just because I played uh, Legend of Zelda, I bought, and I have the third one. Or the yeah third one on order, the Hyrule Historia Arts and Artifacts. I bought the both of them. Yeah, actually my other one, my first one came in today. So surprisingly deep. Yeah, says the guy wearing a Zelda hat right now. Yeah, I'm not a huge Zelda fanboy, but Breath of the Wild is really good. It's good. Ooh, 
it that's one of my favorite games. It's top a, ten. It's an excellent. Yeah, it's a top. Right, right, right next to Legend of Dragoon. Yeah, it's a, it's a top. It's a top ten video game. Um, I'm gonna say Zelda is my favorite video game series of all time. I think that that much is kind of obvious. Um, I think Breath of the Wild. It's fantastic. It's the best. It's maybe one of. It's maybe the best Zelda, Zelda game. video game, but it's also like the worst recent Zelda from a story and lore standpoint. Oh, okay. Story, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that's, I'll, I'll learn it's okay. worse, but, but I was like, think about it wait, in wait, what you saying? Right, okay, so... Like, it's a sandbox, and sandbox okay. games generally have poor stories. Okay, but that might be true. That might be true, but think about all of the crap sandboxes we've had to deal with until we get yeah, this, I, and we're like, this is actually fun. I was so sick and fatigued of open worlds. That's all everything is, is open world. I mean, that's what Mass Effect... Worlds. Yeah, and then Mass Effect yeah. open world, then Andromeda sucked, but then Breath of the Wild comes in and is like, I'm going to show th- Nintendo, th- this this is our first try with open world, we're going to show all of you how it's done, bam, best game of all time. And they just polished it, they, they kept polishing it, because, um, I don't know if you guys remember like reading, or listening to some of like, the development stuff, and they were like, they started showing off the scale of the world, and they were like, yeah, you can do stuff from this point to this point, and it was quite a distance, it was like a whole screen distance, and they're like, and we're pushing it back. And you're like, what? You're pushing it back? And they're like, we want to add more stuff. Yeah. Well, and it was supposed was like, to come out in 2014, yeah. wasn't and it? And I was like, I was like, dude, like, you're, telling me, you're telling me right now we're pushing it back a little bit, and we're adding so much more stuff. Zelda does, at least Breath of the Wild, for Zelda from the original Zelda 1 until I Link Between Worlds, it was always, you do... You do A to B, B to C, C to D. You, you unlock, the, the you unlock this yeah. item and you go here to do That's this. That's how it works. You only had the yeah. one way to solve it. And then it. with the Breath of the Wild, they give you A, B, C, D, E right at the beginning of the game. And then everything else from the from the from for the rest of the game uses all those same tools. But you just kind of come up with however you can mash them together yeah. to make it work. Like in mul- a lot of the problems you come up to, you can solve just a ton of different it, ways. It's a, core, it's a core design that works in the theming. Of the game, you just go, yeah, yeah. go, go, <laughs> do adventure. what you want to do. Um, and I think because of that, and I still love Breath of the Wild. I, I still don't know how I feel about it. Like it's obviously in my top ten games of all time now. It'll probably be my favorite game of the year. I don't think there's anything that's going to beat it. I still feel like we're missing a bit of that balance between great story. Great gameplay and great adventure. And the only thing Breath of the Wild mis- was missing was story because all those flashback scenes sucked. Yeah. Well, we saw them all before even launch. Well, I, I, I didn't watch the trailers. I, I avoided them, but even still, it sucked. Yeah. They, but, and hopefully the DLC will fix that. But you're, you know, also, you're also saying, like, okay, well, what we've been getting is mediocre games, mediocre story. They're just kind of filler, and they're like 100 hours of just boring shit. And then you get Zelda, and you're like, this is 100 hours of me just having fun. I wouldn't and be then, that pessimistic. But no, but like that's the thing. Like, yeah. we have so many sandbox games, and you're just like, this is the same game. Well, that's like well, well, every you you play one Ubisoft open world game, you've played them all. Yeah, I mean, open world fatigue is a real thing. And, and then Breath of the Wild comes in and cleans all that up with a greater than a hundred percent attach rate, which is I don't know yeah. if that's ever going to happen again. But yeah, Breath of the Wild definitely. Uh, I mean, it almost feels like... I don't think I've played any open world games since then. Since I played through it a couple months ago. But it definitely is like... Even from a design standpoint. This is so well made. This is so well done. It's well thought out. How, yeah. It's like, how do we go back to these... Other games. Open world games that are more... Almost shovelware. Well, not, not, I mean, that's what they feel like. Yeah. So, I was it's the that same far. game. It's the same experience. It, it definitely feels more Different like... Different backgrounds. It feels, it feels slightly more linear... I feel like Zelda, and I think it even started with Witcher 3, we're going to start to see this ripple effect in open world games in the future. They're going to kind of learn from this. Hope for the better, yeah. hopefully. I mean, Witcher almost felt like the pinnacle of the old school style. It out Bethesda, Bethesda. And then Zelda's this... this didn't news. have the bugs, though. This is, no. <laughs> if it didn't have the bugs, it can't out Bethesda, Bethesda. Well, so. they have quality. <laughs> and D- they have a QA. I don't know. I think you you're the only one who actually did it, Rick. You did Horizon and then Zelda. Oh yeah, and then yeah. Mass Effect. I, I, I got you did all of those back to back. <laughs> I got Horizon, Andromeda, and Zelda all on release day. 
Yeah, and you, I played I played them all back to back. Yeah, you dropped Horizon though, right? Yeah, I, I dropped Horizon. I didn't finish it until months later. I just I just finished it like last month or so, I think. And uh, Andromeda, I did finish before Zelda dropped, and I hated Andromeda. And then I went to Breath of the Wild, and it was just like this is the biggest fresh the breath of fresh air I've ever gotten. Because I I played two, two open world games back to back, and then going to Zelda is just ah. Uh, it was just, it was a wonderful well, time. Yeah, for like critics though, because they they're like we have to sit down, we have to watch it, we have to do everything and review it and whatever. And then they're just like, I hate it. It's the same thing over and over, right? But fans, they're like, okay, you know, well we can experience, it. we can do it at our leisure, right? Yeah. But then when Zelda comes out, people are like, this is actually enjoyable again. Yeah. Right. That's but the again, thing. That's it's the a breath thing. of fresh air. Yeah. I mean, not to Zelda not to completely breath pun of fresh air. Not to completely pun it, right? But like, you pull up, up. Yeah, you pull up in your map and. There's not icons there's assaulting not, you. There's not icons everywhere the, unless you've discovered them. No, I even turned that off. Yeah, like, I don't and that's, that's part of it. And I love it. I love it. I don't like the have a cluttered UI, dude. I'm um, just there, to, there to enjoy the But if, if I don't stop this, we'll just talk about Breath of the Wild for the next five hours. So yeah, it, it, it was definitely... It's it's an amazing game. I, I think that they... I think it could have been out on Wii U last year. Well, I mean, it but, was. I mean, I think la- like last fall, well, Zelda was Wii clearly ready to go, and they the pushed fall, it back. But they just held it. And part of me wonders if maybe this original Wii U version was better than what we. Do you remember the got. tech demo that they showed for it? But they never really showed too much. That's no, they showed the tech the demo world that was, was like pretty, the day the, the world cycle. Looked, the world looked nice and everything, but there wasn't anything to do. And in, and also, part of me is like. What could could it have been that Magnum Opus the Wii U needed? Because think about it, what was the last big Wii U game to come out before the Switch? Freaking Smash? No, oh God, no! Paper Mario Color Splash. Well, that was uh, the last big a, one. Is that I, a I never big even game. played that. I bought it, um, and we played like a couple hours of it. Hey, don't it was... worry, guys. I did play through it. It's garbage. Uh, it's not Paper <laughs> um, Mario. So let's move yeah, on. Yeah, that right. certainly wasn't right, Paper Mario. So, but, but but how good could Breath of the Wild have been? If it wasn't on Switch, we may never know. But as a launch game? Best launch game of all time. Fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would have loved it on Wii U in late 2016. That was the whole reason I bought the Switch. That's that's literally it. That's everybody else. That's the tagline. Play it for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, it was, was, hey, get a a Switch, get the Breath of the Wild, get the Sheikah Slate Edition, and just have fun. But anyways, moving on. Moving on from Breath of the Wild, we got to. We'll talk about this for the rest of the time. Any other Switch software that it, anyone really wants to mention? Yeah, as much as I love the Switch, I've only got two games for it right now. Well, I've got three with Odyssey today. We're, we're recording this on the day Odyssey releases. <laughs> Wait a date, us, Rick. Shit. Hey, got to date the podcast somehow. This podcast is gonna be awful. But I, I haven't gotten to play Odyssey yet. But excluding that, I've only got two Switch games. And as much as I love it, I haven't played very much of it. I've, I've got Splatoon 2 and <coughs> Zelda, and that's it. And as far as something they say about Splatoon 2, I don't have much to say. I didn't ever play the first first Splatoon. But even to me, it's obvious. It's just Splatoon, but again, it's good, it's fun, it's Splatoon. That's about all I have to say about it. Splatoon was fun. It's, a, it's, a, it's still a good game. Um, I think too many people, whenever they say that, they say it's the same multiplayer, which... Whatever, that's every multiplayer shooter, I think. Uh, campaign's good, though. Campaign is different. Yeah, that was actually really fun. The campaign, the campaign was on, fun. On, on Splatoon 1, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Salmon Run is good. I think at launch, it was kind of janky. But it's they've got it out more. Uh, I, I, I should also say, I pretty much exclusively have played Splatoon 2 multiplayer. I've barely touched a single player, and I haven't played oh, Salmon Run at all. Oh, yeah. No, you if... Know. If you're if you're playing Splatoon two, play everything. Play through the campaign. Play multiplayer. I've probably played the least amount of the just competitive multiplayer. I've played mostly Salmon Run. I think that's pretty much all I've played. And it's I mean it's fun, but the like the the interesting thing about Splatoon from like the interviews and all that kind of stuff was that the world is just so cool. Yeah, when, like you have you have an actual I, scientist, I, I, a squid I, I, scientist. I, I, I love the Splatoon universe. You see, like that, yeah, that's the cool thing. And you go into the you go into the uh, story mode, and you're just like, it's so fun. As someone who played Splatoon on the original Wii U, I probably put 20 total hours into it. I probably played, oh, well, probably a bit more. I mean, probably close to that if you play through the single player and play to multiplayer. I don't think I've played 20 hours, but like I said, all I played is multiplayer. Um, the thing that gets me, I kind of miss Miiverse. 
Really? I, I miss Meverse. I miss Meverse so much. I miss Meverse on Splatoon. Okay, okay. I, I need this. To it's roll, still there in Splatoon too, but it's not the same. Just to roll back a little bit to Wii U versus Switch, I miss Meverse a lot. I love Meverse. It was great. I miss why, it. Why on can't Switch. Metroid crawl? Why can't Metroid crawl? That's lost forever now. And we kind of skipped a couple of games. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is... I didn't play it. Well, it's a port. I played I mean, Mario it's Kart a 8 port. I really enjoyed it. I love Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is just a port. I was going to say, I, I want to mention Mario Rabbids. Such a fantastic well, idea. Well, hold on. Let's get there in a moment. No, uh, I want to just but jump. I'm not a super mega fan of Mario Kart. I think it's fun, but I never like paying $60 for Mario Kart, so I never picked up any Yeah, Deluxe. I mean... Okay. Okay. It's definitely a stopgap for Mario Kart 9 or Nintendo Kart or whatever. Now, when you played 8, did you like it? Did you find it fun? I loved 8. I, I still love it. Very eight. rewarding. I still love 8. And it was very fun. It was quirky. It had all the, the upside down and everything. Yeah. I was, I was the gravity tracks the and everything. Time. Yeah. No, I love I Mario Kart. I Switch. I really should. I mean, I picked it up, but I think I picked it up because I wanted another Switch game, not because I wanted to play oh, Mario yeah. Kart. I feel like that's why a lot of people. Well, I it. feel bad now because I bought it. And then I bought all the DLC for it on the Wii U, and now it's like... Yeah, now it's out on Switch, and you paid $60 again. Yeah. And I think after Mario Kart, the next big thing was ARMS, which... Yes. Which... I, I never played. I was, I was excited for it. I, I didn't buy it. I, I, I like Twin Tail. That's about it. I, I played... I don't I don't think there's enough content there. I played the test punches. I really don't... I, I'm not into it. I don't like it. I just... I think that's... And maybe ARMS 2 will be good. Because yeah, ARMS, ARMS obviously sold well. It, sold over a million units. It, it needs an ARMS 2. ARMS 2 I might jump in, but as far as ARMS, the, the test punches didn't sell me. I, I really... I especially hate the motion controls, and that's like the base, That's like the whole that's point. The that's whole the basis. way to play it. Yeah. That's and, the way and to play I, it. ARMS feels like, like a it. Wii game in 2017. Okay. Whatever you no, think. I, think that's I, I mean, I'll I'll that think that's it. it. ARMS 2 in 2019, 2020... There's potential, uh, but as it stands, I think it's it's overshadowed. It sold well because that's all that was out. It sold well because people thought it was going to be really good. I they think, were touting it as like I think some people thought it was the next platoon. Well, it sold well for like a week, and then everybody just kind of fizzled on it. I, over a million units, though, and the Switch has only sold maybe six. You're looking at you're still looking at a pretty high tax rate. Yeah, but how yeah, long but did they keep playing and, it? Yeah, and think of how many of those are just sitting on a shelf right now. Yeah. Well, like not going to be whatever. Um, but after Arms was Splatoon two, which we already spoke about, no, and then Splatoon, it was, and then after that, I think it's it's Mario and Rabbids. Yeah, I think it's King unless of you well, Pokin. Like, and Pokin exactly. came after that. Let's we'll skip like, Pokin. Like, Pokin's Pokin. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play Mario and Rabbids, but uh, that's the I've that was, seen a little bit of it, and what I've seen, I'm just in love with. It's an idea that shouldn't work, but it meshes pretty well. The story for it's actually kind of unique in how it gets set up. I definitely like it. I mean, I own it. I, I'm still picking it up before the end of the year, but I've not picked it up or played it yet. But not it's basically it's Nintendo XCOM. It, it's the yeah. next they they Nintendo ice fighting games. They Nintendo ice shooters at Splatoon, and then the next thing they Nintendo ice is XCOM. Now we just have to see what they Nintendo ice next. But Kingdom Battle, none of us have been able to play it. Yeah, so not much to say about it. Which I, sucks. Pe- people, you get to play as a Roomba, so pe- I like that. People say good things about it. I hear a lot of things that the Rabbids are actually kind of funny and they're not, like, cringy. So yeah. we'll have to see about that. Yeah, but. hopefully we'll be able to talk about it more later. Like I said, the, it's like a super light story, but the setup's cool. It merges fine. And it's, and and it's, it's a new genre for the Wii U. Yeah. I don't think that we you. actually kind of talked, but it is, yeah, it's a brand new genre that the, or not the Wii U, <clears> the Switch, I should say. Sorry, I'm tired. But and and for also, people that don't know, Nintendo, but regardless, it's it's something new, it's something different, and that's another thing. The Switch hasn't really had a massive genre build up like the Wii U did, because the Wii U had a ton of 2D platformers at first. And then after that, I think the next big game was Fire Emblem. Warriors. Fire Emblem. Wait, if yeah. you discount Pokemon. Which right. I yep. think everybody did. Yeah, Pokin's Pokin. It's Pokin's Pokin. It's the I same mean, game with two or three extra characters. Yeah, that yeah. was it, right? Pokin I didn't think they added change much. Not even really balance they, changes they, so much. They, <laughs> they added the arcade characters and the current like arcade balancing. Oh yeah, so that's state, all they. That's so. all they did. They were just like, here's yeah. the, here's the final edition. Here and go. that kind of Take goes it. into I know a lot of people who didn't own Wii U's want Wii U ports on the Switch, but how many more what? of those do you really want? When how you many rather more want new games? How many more are we gonna really get? I Smash. still want Smash because we got the big okay. Smash, Smash, is, is, a Smash guarantee. is a good contender. Yeah, and the reason the reason is we still got that amiibo support, dude. Put and and GameCube controller support. And GameCube controller support. You know, you're really setting it up. You're really setting it up. 
announced Smash at Tokyo Game Show, put it out in like March. And we're not gonna get a Smash Five. Mm. Not, not anytime time. soon. Not no. by twenty twenty. Sakurai. Yeah, so no. he, well, he, I think he'll he still work on says, it. He says, this is the last one I'm doing, but then he makes the next Well, yeah, one. but he has, like, physical problems. Like, yeah. He's, like, basically killing himself. But how fast did they turn around and make Smash on Wii U 3DS? I mean, that was... They were put together, though. Oh, God. Yeah, but yeah. that was still, like, After a Brawl, two or three year Brawl, development cycle, maybe? It was Brawl 09 or 08. Brawl was, came out in late 07, but Sakurai didn't make... Sakurai released Kid Icarus in 2012. Smash was out in 2014. But to get back on the Icarus actual was Switch games, theme. as far as Fire Emblem Warriors, I think only me and Nathaniel have played it's it. It's okay. I think it's a... I mean, it's just... I, I barely played it, but it seems like a pretty good... It, like a higher it, tier Warriors game. It's dumb action. I, and don't get me wrong, I didn't go into it thinking this is going to be the most amazing piece of... Fire Emblem material. Ever. Software ever made. It's dumb fun. And that and it works. It, you just push it, buttons and you see numbers and you're enjoying. It, it, just from a glance, it seems like a high tier Muso game. It, it's better than Muso All Stars, pretty much. Yeah. I, I mean, my only experience has been Hyrule Warriors, but oh yeah, it's still. I think it's still good. I'm. I've played a bit of the story mode. I've played a little bit of history mode. I let Rick play a bit of history mode. It's a good game, but it's at the end of it all. I think it's going to be overshadowed by what we're going to talk about in a moment. Uh, and later on, in game the Switch, of the year, Super Mario Bros. And later on, I think in the long stream of things, it's just gonna kind of be overshadowed by anything else on the Switch. You mean just uh, Fire Emblem Warriors? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think I think ideally, it's probably a good entry for like a spinoff for the Fire Emblem because you want to capitalize on it. Yeah, oh, it's definitely, big. it's getting big. Fire Emblem's definitely... I mean, you had three major Fire Emblem releases this year. Yeah, all Pokemon editions. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's three major releases? Heroes, what was the Echoes, and Warriors. Wait, the, what, the mobile. What, what was oh, oh, Heroes. Heroes, Heroes. Was yeah, mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, well, was, so this was the first year I consider myself a true Fire Emblem fan. Because I got Echoes and Warriors on day one. I got the special editions of Warriors on day one. And I played through all of Heroes. I, I, I've been a Fire Emblem fan for a while. I've played fan translations of like some of the originals. I played the original Western Fire Emblem. And so w- w- Warriors was just a seemed like a cool fan service, and so I, I'm, I'm into it. And a lot of people really get into Fire Emblem now, especially post Awakening. I think Warriors yeah, post Awakening cool. was, which is really cool to say, like the post Awakening era. <laughs> and I think we can kind of go into that later with Fire Emblem Switch. But uh, the biggie uh, for software is obviously now. Super Mario Odyssey, yeah, which is that's, that's the next big one. Nintendo is competing with themselves. We're getting the year. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's solid. That, my, that's kind of awesome. I look, <laughs> I look at my, like, I look at my top games of the year, and it's like, yeah, okay, maybe Splatoon, maybe Zelda, obviously something like a Hat in Time, which I loved. But then I'm like, okay, what's gonna beat it? Oh, Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> Oh, it's Nintendo versus Nintendo. Well, this is over. Um, yeah, like, well, what better thing can you say about yourself than you're competing with yourself for the game of the year? Yeah. Um, you can't really say like, something better about yourself. It just so happened two of the best things that we've ever made happened come in the yeah. same year, and they're like... Mm-hmm. like I, 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 it's, not just, it's not a just so happened. This was obviously planned. This was them sort of kicking everything out that they could. Zelda yeah, was their big launch game, and they wanted Odyssey to be the big fall game. So, yeah. So I, I haven't even gotten to play Odyssey yet. It's it's at my house waiting for me right now. Yeah, I, I I got it today, but well, I, I'm over here doing the podcast right out now. Out of the four of us, three, three of us own Odyssey oh, on, and, the and, and the only reason, on the day it came out. And the only reason one of us doesn't, Jamie, I, If I had a Switch, I would have bought it. And the yeah. only reason he doesn't have it is because he doesn't have a Switch. And the only reason yet. we haven't played it is because we were doing this. Yeah. Oh. So... And, and, and all and already I know it's gonna be yeah it's, it's gonna be a fantastic gonna, you know what it's gonna be great I'm gonna call it Super Mario Sunshine two and I'm just gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm are. gonna cut you <laughs> because there are enough differences between those two games that that is not the case. Just uh, the theme song alone is worthy of game of the year. But I don't think we should talk about it too much because yeah, we haven't played. Yeah, there's it. not much to say about it. Side it's it's already it's already beautiful. It's already and then beautiful. early impressions are I mean it's the highest ranking game on Metacritic. Yeah. Beautiful boy certified. Yeah, what beautiful, beautiful what? boy, beautiful. What, what, yeah, beautiful, beautiful rating. For beautiful, the beautiful out boys. of beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Without even playing it, beautiful, beautiful. rating. So, but yeah, beautiful. that's the big one. Um, and then on December first, coming up soon, we'll, we'll have Xenoblade. Yes, and hopefully before that, uh, Zelda DLC. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Ballad of the Goddess. Soon. Hopefully we'll get that. Soon is for soon Nintendo. But, yeah. but there's literally nothing we can say about that. It's, it's Except coming, coming we soon. hope it has more story. <laughs> but and yeah, and then Xenoblade December 1st. And as far as Xenoblade, I think it's going to be great, but please... Please, please make it please, good. Please, please, Papa Treehouse, Nintendo Treehouse, give me Japanese voice options. That oh, dub, I don't. That care. that dub is awful. Pre-order that, for the Japanese audio. Have, do, do, you if, have, do you please please please, please contribute on Kickstarter for no, the Japanese voice acting? Please give the Japanese voice. Have you guys watched that last trailer for Xenoblade? That dub is awful. Like I'm no. someone, I'm someone that's. Uh, Everyone hates on dubs a lot, and I'm always someone like the dub's not that bad. Like I, I'm usually pretty good with dubs, but a lot of people really hate dubs. But even for me, Xenoblade's dub is awful. I can't stand it. I've never wanted Jap. I've never wanted Japanese. And voices that's so bad. part of the charm, kids. Uh, regardless, now, how is that part of the charm? Regardless, if Xenoblade Two is actually a sequel to the Did, original Xenoblade, wait, wait. I remember. Even even you commented when when we first saw that direct. Even you said the dub was bad. But yeah, the dub is bad. But I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. It's not going to hamper it. his well, enjoyment. What? The dub is so bad. Like it makes me cringe. It makes I want to curl up into a ball and die. The dub is so bad. But and, and I love. Hopefully, dubs. It'll, hopefully it'll be a great game. And I, I I have no problem with subs. I love watching anime dubs and stuff though. And, and like I'm someone that loves dubs. And even, yeah, I can't say Xenoblade. I can't. I can't. Have they showed it. any substantial amount of Xenoblade two. I don't all? think so. But it's also they showed like an hour of it. But I it's think. also a kind of game that's like you well, have to play ten hours of it to really get a feel. Well, true. Yeah, that they did. yeah, but if you hate the voice the whole time. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, Xenoblade 1 is, what, 60, 70 hours? Yeah, I've but, played through it. I know. I think you have. Yeah, I, I've beaten Chronicles, but it, that, that game is fun voice acting. And then <laughs> X is just... I couldn't stand it. I played five hours. I, I beat X. X is the best RPG with no story. <laughs> so, high hopes for Xenoblade 2. Um, and I think it'll be a perfect closeout for 2017. You know... You've got a big Zelda, you've got big Mario, you've got big RPGs, you've got a Warrior spinoff, you've got an XCOM spinoff, basically. Then you'll pro- they'll probably release a Zelda DLC at the end of December to cap the year. I hope, no, I I think hope it's, it's earlier. Before week, it's before, week before Christmas. Yeah, whatever no, the Zelda yeah. expansion is, the no. Switch is going to have like a strong I expect, first year. It's a strong I expect first like year. Late November. It's a strong first year. And I think there's going to be a lot of Switch. And, and we didn't even months. mention any, I mean, that's all big Nintendo stuff. We didn't mention Skyrim. Oh, or uh, uh, Doom. Or Doom, yeah. which is coming. Uh, it's smaller indie stuff. Snipper Clippers. And then, I played a bit of that. And then early, next year, early next year is Octopath. Octopath is, is coming. It early? I think it's, it's early coming. next year. They haven't said it's early. Um, Golf Story. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Golf Story. I, I hear a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. Story. And Stardew Valley's on Switch Stardew now. Valley. Even yeah. s- I, I played Sonic Mania on it. I loved it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so... Lots of good stuff on the Switch. Yeah, it, the Switch has had the strongest oh. launch year of all the modern systems. And we're going to get a Pokemon. Eventually. 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 I mean, but that's still, I mean, oh, that's coming on expected. And the soon, uh, yeah, SMT5 was just recently just confirmed announced. as a Switch exclusive, which I I, I love SMT, so that I'm I'm going crazy over that. I can't wait for SMT5. Yeah, that's an exciting one. And now we're going in for 2018 Switch titles to start to finish off finish us off then we'll finish off with our weeks and stuff and what we're looking for to and what we're doing but for now it's 2018 switch games wolfenstein 2 that's probably going to be the earliest one out the gate maybe right? or kirby yeah. wolfenstein I'm, I'm or kirby for kirby that curbs kirby is me kirby's whatever personally i curbs, don't really care about is, kirby kirby's, kirby's is a solid entry though kirby's probably april or may both Kirby and Yoshi, I don't really care about. I'm mostly looking for forward to SMT5. That, that's my big 2018 game. That's huge for Nintendo to get and keep exclusive, which we all assume they would anyway. Also, right? yeah. Also, uh, after Monster Hunter World releases in January, maybe they'll decide to localize Monster Hunter XX for the West. And I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be mm. down for that. We'll but, see. Eh. I feel like Capcom would have said something by now, but I mean, still. I mean, just looking at next year. And obviously, they'll announce more, I think. Yeah, Octopath is next year, uh, maybe. Octopath uh, Octopath is definitely... I definitely, yeah, I think that's definitely a... uh, That's a quarter one, quarter two. Yeah, that's early 2018. 2018 game. game. Uh, Octopath and SMT5 are my big 2018 game. That word, games right now. 
I don't think Pokemon will be out in 2018. Uh, I don't no want way. it to be out. It won't be. Yeah. If it is, I don't want it to be out. If it is, if it'll it be, is, it'll be another. It'll be really late. Yeah, but I think, and I still hold out hope. Metroid Prime Four. Mm. I, I don't I, think it or Pokemon hit next year. I have year. heard that Pokemon, like they have the new people working on Ultra Sun and Moon because they have like a solid basis to already start with, and they, they've had veteran staff working on Switch Pokemon for a while. That around. makes sense. I would still give them some credit for that, but I still don't want it in 2018. Oh yeah, I think you should definitely. Have they're going to take a year off because here's the thing: they're they're going to be on a new platform. They're going to have a lot more possibilities. I want them to think through it, and, yeah. and it'll be a new generation. Yeah, and well, that's the point. Like, I it'll be Gen to, A. I want them to come up and be like, "Hey, listen, you know, you like Pokemon? How we like we Pokemon s- Version Two, which is Ultra Beasts. Um, let's not let's not worry about that. Let's just get you to have a fun experience. Yeah, catch them all. And I think one thing I like about Pokemon, and some people dislike this, is its steady improvement. As opposed to one massive improvement. I mean, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I am, it works for Pokemon. I, I am totally suckered into the Pokemon formula, so it doesn't matter what they do. Yeah. I'll pr- I'll always play it. Like, yeah. I, I can't help myself. We could probably do an entire podcast on just Pokemon, I think. But I hope past Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, they really focus on post-game. Yeah. Hopefully. I think because we haven't had a good post-game since Gen 4. We need a solid post-game. And still nothing as strong as Emerald. I would say, I mean, Emerald was good. I would almost say Platinum is just as good, yeah. if not better. Platinum second best, but nothing's still been as good. Emerald as was amazing, but anyway, yeah, Pokemon on Switch. I don't think it's going to be like super hot HD graphics like everybody it thinks. It's to just going to be the it, sun. It doesn't moon have engine. to be. It's going to be the yeah. sun. No, moon I don't think it'll be sun and moon. No, it better engine. not be. It, better not it, be it will be. I'll be fine with sun and moon fidelity just at a higher resolution. Which if that's what I not really, lag in, it, it, if you yeah, I, I think it'll battle, they'll use so. the models for sun and moon it, and X and Y, but it'll be a new engine entirely. It, if you've seen Citra footage of sun and moon like uh, rendered at 1080p internally, it looks just fine. So yeah. I'd be perfect. I think that's probably the most exciting thing. Because we took the jump from sort of Gen 5 to Gen 6 with to 3D models officially. Mm. But I think going from potentially Gen 7, Gen 8 to HD models, that's going to be like... Pokemon's going to look crisper than ever. That's going to be the last big jump, though. Here's the real, here's the real question. Is my character going to get taller? Nope. Yes. Guaranteed. Okay. Guaranteed. Awesome. But I mean, even outside of Pokemon... We know f- they said Fire Emblem's coming next year. And Fire oh Fire Emblem, sorry about that. Fire Emblem, SMT five, and Octopath. Those are my big twenty eighteen. I, I think Fire Emblem back on sort of a home console is interesting because Fire Emblem is is now popular. I think enough. It's, yeah, it's I, certainly I, becoming. I, it. I it's not niche. That's for sure. Really it exploded hope. with Awakening, and it's just gotten bigger. Yeah, I'm excited for Fire Emblem on Switch. I hope we see some of it soon. I think. Going into 2018, that's the one game we know of that's like, yes, I want to play that. I don't know if anybody else is that way, but that's, again, I mean, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm certainly going to look fine. for the big ones, but uh, I'm actually more interested on what they're going to do on a little scale. What do you right. mean by that? Like, like virtual console, snipper clips virtual console, too. just like stuff that they add in. I would not, I wouldn't think virtual console would be little scale. I would well, say no, what that, I mean. We're well, not doing sixty dollars well, releases. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Like oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Like we're not. Like we're budget. not. Yeah, six. Budget. You know, well, I'm really into them. Apparently, adding online play to virtual console time. That yeah. would be cool. Yeah. Okay, they've mentioned something like I think it's like Super Mario Brothers. Like cool, but I don't know if that's Mario system Brothers. seller. Well, oh no, of course but not. Yeah, but it's going to give you something. It'll I don't think point. anybody is going to buy it. Uh, any system well, based it, on its back first catalog. First of all, it's also 300 bucks. As, as soon yeah. as it, if they put but it's gonna be a lot on of fun. it, it'd be a system seller for me. <laughs> but it's going to be something like, I want a lot of really good, like, maybe not necessarily like new innovative, innovative stuff. I want stuff that's fun and like mm-hmm. just that I can enjoy. And the fact that it's portable and like I can play with yeah, my friends I mean, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing. Portable and it virtual doesn't, console. It doesn't even have to be like, yeah, you know, super work long and, games. Yeah, take I just, it to work and play some Super Metroid on your lunch break. Yeah, relive something and in pretty good quality and portable and you can play it on your TV. And, well, the thing I like about virtual consoles is like you know what you're getting. Oh yeah, you're pay- you know you know what you're getting. You're not paying too much for it. I feel like GameCube controller support is indicative of it. Maybe, probably, probably. but soon, a- right? But you could have said the same thing in 2014 when Smash Brothers launched with it on the Wait, Wii U. Oh, but I mean, again, I, I that's how like, that's I, how people complain about wanting to play Smash. I feel like Reggie has hinted at GameCube Virtual Console for Switch. I feel like I've read that. 
Maybe. I'm sure he has. That sounds vague. He wore a Metroid pin one year, guys. Maybe. He wore a Metroid pin Uh, one year. I, I'm excited. I think we could get Virtual Console next year. And not just Virtual Console, but, like, smaller games. Like, just games. Yeah. That are like, Let's just have fun. Let's just yeah, play. yeah, for sure. I mean, again... I really enjoyed Comico. I so. Last time I checked the eShop, number one game, Stardew Valley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number two is Mario Odyssey. And that's before it came out, of course. Yeah. But Sonic Mania is doing well. Yeah, like, just those small games. You know, that we're $30 and below... That's yeah, just something to eat I, on. I have read lots of stories of indie games uh, of of them saying that they've sold the most on the Switch. Yeah, I saw something like yeah, that like, too. Yeah, I could see that because it's it's a portable. It's running at the same rate that pretty much everything else. And is. there's nothing else there. It, well, that too. <laughs> I mean, like, that's a portion of it. But I mean, okay, let's just say like this: there's not a lot of junkware on it. There's not that's a lot of true. there's just not a lot of filler. So you go in and you're like, these are the only thing that's here are quality titles that passed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's and you're, true. You're enjoying them, and I hope again. I hope that more people come in. I hope Nintendo kind of not necessarily opens the floodgates. Well, they've got but Bethesda. Lets more stuff in. They've yeah. got Bethesda in. Yeah, I mean, I would rebuy a hat in time on Switch. Yeah, I would. We, we know like you today. Are. I'm almost considering buying Sonic Mania, and I don't even like Sonic. It's it's five hours of fun, yeah. except that last level. I just want everything <laughs> on the Switch. Yes, <laughs> that's the name of this podcast. Now we want everything on this Nintendo Switch. But, but is far as closing thoughts pretty much on the Switch for me is that I think I'm, there's going to be a lot of Switches under the Christmas trees this year. Hopefully. Yeah, if they <laughs> think it's to get them out. Um, yeah. nah. I like the Switch. I think it's a good system. But after I finished Splatoon 2 up until recently yeah. when Fire Emblem came out, I didn't touch it. And I think that that's going to be the, the kicker is can they keep the great software coming after We'll see. Now. With, Basically, you mean with, if they can keep it in your hands? Yeah, yeah. Like, can I can can I consistently be going back to my Switch? With what we've mentioned for next year, you got to assume it's going to be paced out, kind of how the big releases are this year. In all honesty, hopefully two three months between each of them, that's fine. You've got your indie stuff between you because the big titles are the ones that they expect pretty much everyone to pick up. Oh right? yeah, I mean, and so you know, and the space obviously. in between, the space in between would be like, oh, you know, you like. A JRPGs or you like whatever like this is the this is the month couple months to do it yeah um, yeah for sure but we haven't even talked the online service the paid online launches okay, next no. year yeah right? that's true as well and what are they gonna launch that with virtual mm-hmm. console now that, no they're no, gonna God, no. no they're no. gonna launch paid online no. with smash yep no I, I'm pretty sure they said that uh, paid online will launch as long as virtual console well they haven't mentioned virtual May, console they did, at all they mentioned I'm, that they, no, no, I'm pretty sure they, they said that they haven't mentioned what what everyone's expecting and that's GameCube virtual console I thought they had well, they talked about it I know anyway. what I know what he's talking about where they said you would get like a free downloadable game yeah, every month. Oh, yeah like you'll yeah. get a free virtual but, console game every month but we've already got those arcade classics out yeah it's like eight dollars for Mario Brothers Classic. That could be what they go for. They may not ever actually yeah, officially that's... launch the virtual console. They could just re-release everything as is. I, I think I still think they're referencing virtual console. I, I hope they do, but I mean they have to, right? Every I, I just want a little filler, dude. Like even it's, the not three, even, yeah. it's not even going to be hard on their end. What do you guys want to see mm-hmm. next year? Like wildest dreams, Prime Four. I Prime think four. that's what we're okay, all Okay, okay. <laughs> that hasn't been announced. Hasn't been announced? That's not been announced whatsoever. Oh, so if we, if Conduit like, 3, like whatever. Kitty bag, whatever we want. Con- I would be down Conduit for Conduit 3. 3. Um, Conduit, Conduit 3, 3, Conduit Harder. They could have anything I wanted. And, that, and I just broke it because we kind of got the big ones already. Mm-hmm. Well... We know this. See, right? see the, the, the funny thing it. about what's coming up is I, I pretty much got everything I want, really. I mean, Zelda <laughs> launched Mario you know, as for Christmas. Right now, yeah. Right, well, we know. Zelda launched We don't know where Christmas. they're going to go with it. I guess Pokemon and Metroid are coming. Fire Emblem's coming next year. What other big Nintendo stuff's left? F-Zero. Yeah, like, like if I could pick anything I wanted, I mean, there's not much I'm, I haven't gotten. I, I kind d- of want a solid, like, party game. The only thing, sweet. maybe. The only thing they're not covering. Mario Party 11? Well, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, that, that doesn't use the car? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, like, just something to have fun. Like, you know, not, yeah. nothing super serious. Uh, that's what I want. And I think um, that's going to be the future. So. I could enjoy a really cool uh, Animal Crossing something. Well... Hopefully. I mean, I, we're, I, know we're, I know we're doing that moving to mobile. A, a real paper Mario. There we go. A real, a real paper uh, Mario. Nat, Don't I know hold your breath. We haven't, you haven't mentioned it yet, but the uh, game that 
Retro is working on, or maybe yeah, retro, right? Re- whatever. That's what I know. That's what you want to see. Retro, yeah. I mean, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Heat. They've freeze. been silent. Donkey since Kong Country Tropical Heat came out. It came out in early 2014. It was obviously done. So they've the been silent for three, almost four years. Four years at this now, point. It, and we still don't know what. And they're not doing Prime Four. Big. I hope it's good. That's one big one. I'd love to see a third Donkey Kong Country game for the modern era. Nintendo Kart. I don't want it to be Mario Kart 9. I don't want it to just be Nintendo Kart. Smash Bros. That would be a lot better. Nintendo Kart. I think that's what they're going well, for. Well, they kind of attempted that with... Is it is Link not a DLC character for Link, 8? Link, Wasn't the he? Inklings, Isabel, and Villager. They had that weird Mercedes-Benz DLC. <laughs> so I think the next one... Maybe Mario Kart they're, they're, 9 will still have Mario expanding. Focus. But I think Nintendo Kart's in the future. I think Smash Brothers they're going to work t- the thing would about, be nice. The thing about Nintendo is like it's got such a large range of characters that they can just start picking up new things. Yeah. If they they're going to merge right. Mario Kart and Sonic All Stars racing. I'd be okay with that. Mario for All-Stars. one for one for one Mario for one off. Again, party games: Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. Because I want something. I want something that's not super serious. I want something other than a Wii U port. Yeah. And shovelware. <laughs> yeah. I want quality, just quality fun games, yeah, dude. The, I know it's asking for a lot. Nintendo Land it, it, 2. It's funny that it's hard to think of what you want out of your dream grab bag because you already have everything. Well, and I think, <laughs> and at least for us... Well, because you're so blown away by it. You're yeah. like, I don't know what we can top this. And also for us, what do we do? We play a lot of single player games. Yep. Yeah, so obviously what we want we, are more party games. Well, and that's what the Switch You know what I would actually like? Actual solid, solid single player games that aren't gonna die and get loot boxes and multiplayer well, and, and I think we're doing doing that. Those. Yeah. I, I think mean, I want, I want like quality single player games like yeah for sure you, I mean personal preference right you give me the next Disgaea I'm probably gonna buy it on it like and I don't even play them for more yeah. like 200 hours I mean come on <laughs> more, I, only, I only played 200 I only played 200, 200. no I, just Jesus. you know something fun just something enjoyable I can like mindlessly experience maybe not well, super pick even, up warriors yeah. and you know, yeah and more obscure stuff you know? Some yeah. More. Well, yeah, like things that I didn't... Just SMT5 wow is, yeah. Just wow me. And not even like, this has to be the best of graphics or the best, coolest thing. Just like, give me something that's fun. And I give know. Me something that's I, I, thought of my, I thought of my dream game. I, I won and switch at Dream Odyssey. Really? I, that's your yeah, dream? You'll see, you'll see that. Uh, uh, of stuff that isn't announced, like, uh, just trying to think of something. You'll see that when Switch Atlas Atri- decides to let the 3DS die. And yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. surprised no one said this one. Uh, something from Atlas for the Switch that isn't SMT5, because we already know about it. I'm surprised no one has said uh, Bayonetta 3. Oh, well, or yeah. that. Th- what? Yeah, sold on that one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, it was a good yeah. podcast. We're out. It was a great one. Bay- Bayo 3. I know. I feel, like, I feel like you'll see it next yeah, year. I really do. I would like it. Yeah, and I it's, think it's been time. I think it'll be a Switch port. I mean, Bayonetta is kind of Nintendo-ish now. Oh, you think they port two? Uh, I don't. You I don't said port. I mean, Switch exclusive. I think it'll be a Switch. I okay. think Bayo three would be a Switch exclusive. I don't think they'll port two at all. Port two two's okay. Where it is, just leave it. Yeah, you know, just don't even worry about development time. Put, put three on the Switch and call it a day. Yeah, and then you have your best. Then you have your best game on the Switch, maybe. I don't you know. have a solid game. That's fun. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, make it make it as good as Bayo Two, and you've got a Bayo two ten out of ten. Except for that weird mecha battle thing at the end. Don't the worry game. about it. Right. One had the bullet game at the very and, end, and uh, maybe a new Zelda down the line uh, on the Switch. A, 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 oh, yeah. a new Zelda entirely on the Switch. Yeah, in like four or five years at the end of it. Oh, hold up! <laughs> I don't know if I can go that long. <laughs> Those encyclopedias only last a couple of days. I, I, I guarantee that's, that's what it is. About the Switch, though. I, I wouldn't yeah, mind, I I wouldn't mind another, up. and I know we'll get it, another 2D Mario. Yeah, we'll probably... I don't care if it's new Super Mario Bros. A solid Switch. 2D Mario, dude, yeah. Or like, Super Mario Maker 2? Well, They'll just port Mario Maker. No, I don't think so at yeah, this no, point. The, Mario Maker is another thing I'd like to see. Yeah. It'd be great for the Switch's touch I think screen. that they'll what, what just do a sequel. Screen. What more can you really do to Mario Maker? Well... Besides expand the tool set... I'm not a game designer, so I I Free leave that. Mario Maker. So I leave that. To, yeah, you can, you can cash the check right now. It's a, it's five hundred dollars because it's called a development kit. <laughs> <Yeah>. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good wrap up to the Switch overall. Yeah, I like the Switch. I like the software. Breath of the Wild is probably one of the best games of all time. I like what I played. Zelda's fun. It's cool. I I'll see, buy man. Zelda. I just like fucking. Oh, fish Jamie's bitches. gonna buy Zelda. We succeeded. We could do a whole podcast on Zelda, probably, but we, we won't. And my fish bitches. No, I need to play and beat it first. 
I can't believe Jamie's gonna buy Zelda though. This well, no one knew it'll take like two years to play it and beat oh, it. Come on, but uh, it took me four months for Persona Five. But to close this out, what's going up? What going on with everyone? What are you looking forward to? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be playing lots of Odyssey. That's pretty much all I'm. Yeah, all I care about. Right lots now. of Odyssey and some Fire Emblem Warriors here and there. I'll probably drop five hours into Odyssey and never touch it again. That seems not <laughs> accurate, but that's good for you. Yeah, well, yeah that's pretty good. Why about you, Jamie? Uh, immediate plans, finish up Shovel Knight DLC, I, I just need to get through Plague of Shadows, because it's a freaking chore, but, I'll, I'm, I'm about to cut somebody. It's gonna, he's anyway, about to trigger me in the thing, hey, I'll, I'll finish, we'll I'll finish Plague of Shadows, jump into Spectre Torment, and maybe throw in a new game plus to be both into, it's a good game. I'll try to devote some time to playing my games that I'm trying to play on PC. I I'll probably continue playing a bunch of Overwatch as well, along with Odyssey, and I'm gonna try to keep catch up to Boku no Academia, which I just started. That's pretty much gonna be my oh, yeah my schedule until Anime. December first when I pick up. Yep, yeah, it's, it's Odyssey. Xenoblade. Odyssey's probably the biggest thing right now. Oh, for sure. Surprisingly, November's kind of light. Yeah, it's just... Well, it's giving us time to munch down on yeah, what we buy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, besides, you know, I forgot, I have uh, Pokemon on a Yeah, I'll Pokemon. Be play, I'll be playing that in November. That's a given. I'm yeah. probably not going to open mine. <laughs> It'll be worth more. You, you didn't even it will be. Sun. It will be. No, I didn't. I played five hours of Sun, and I didn't touch... Uh, you just got past the tutorial. I bought the $70 version, too. That's your own fault. Ah. But yeah, yeah, Pokemon's coming up, but next month is... Next month is light. It's COD. It's Battlefront. It's Pokemon. Okay, cool. So, just Pokemon. so, so Pokemon. Yeah. I'm gonna pirate Battlefront and just play the single player. That wraps it up for me. I think my biggest concern going forward is just keeping the momentum. You know what? You know what? I'll give one more thing. I want to see uh, Nintendo Creators Club just whatever. Just gone. Oh, just <laughs> act it, dude. Like let people play their games. Yeah, yeah that'd it's be really, nice. It's that'd really be nice. Bad. Hey, guess what? You might be and selling. And yeah. we got a copyright claim. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. probably did just by speaking about this. <laughs> <We're talking laughs> about. They mentioned, they mentioned we, we hummed. We hummed the Mario theme, and now yeah. we've lost all our rights. Hey, last word for you, Jamie? Uh, no, I mean, Switch is fun. I'll buy one. Yeah, I mean, I think your opinion might be more valuable than ours because we've played so much Switch. I mean, we've got it. And let the record very... show I didn't really want to play Zelda, but I mean, it's fine. It's fun. I mean, we have a we have a very, like, wide range of customers in, just in the group of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need Weebu, AAA, whatever, and whatever <laughs> Rick is anymore. <laughs> Super weak. I'm a game slut. And then yeah. I, I am the true gamer. Nintendo no, fanboy. I, I, Hash, I, slash a, R slash true gamer. Listen, I'm the true gamer here. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think we just have varied opinions that really cover. Yes, so, we do. So that's the important part. And that's why you should watch more of us. <laughs> or listen to us anyway. And this has been the beautiful boy cast. And I'm Rick, the pretty and smart one. And Nathaniel over here is the tall and married type. I am the one who is having trouble forming sentences, and I really want to play Breath of the Wild again. Nathaniel's drunk and wants to play Odyssey. I want to play Breath of the Wild. I want to have a lobotomy and play it for the first time again. (laughs) Damn, that probably would be more enjoyable. Yeah. Well, he watched me play it, so it's the same thing. And and Dakota's the rebel pretty boy. What do you have to say to close out? He's going to go home, play five hours of Odyssey, and then lose the cart. (laughs) No, I like them. They're they're nice. You didn't have to say that. And and Jamie, no, no, the the awkward trap, pretty boy. Yeah, beautiful boy. Thanks for listening, or not. Yeah, thanks for listening to our first ever pilot podcast. Sorry, it sucks. Let us know in the comments what you want us to talk about next. Let us know which one of us you want to die. It'll be. Yeah, yeah, it'll it. be Jamie. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank no, you very much. They're probably mad at the dogs. <laughs> That's gonna be hard. To Everyone, hit comment Two how hours. much you hate Jamie. Oh, attitude. Christ. Goodbye. I yeah. want to have sex with Marina. All right, that's well, getting cut. cut. No, we just not, lost all our ad revenue. That's not getting yeah. cut at all. Um, Excuse me, while wait, how old is she? What? Who knows? She's old enough, but she's a squid.